So I hope it's like the right angle and it's showing me good, but you guys can probably hear my parents in the background. But welcome back to my lovely channel, guys. It's been a week since I posted, which is not that bad. Um, I'm super excited because I got my craving. So as you see in the video, I'm doing a mukbang or a mukbang. I don't know how you guys call it. I'm doing a little mukbang and I got my passion. No, it's a dragon fruit starbucks it's dragon fruit with lemonade and if you guys have not tried it you guys need to try it because it's really 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 bomb and then i got my subway which is really good like i just got random things this time because it sounded great to me so yeah today i'm going to be filming a mukbang slash q a i've told you guys to ask me questions and uh, let me post real quick on my instagram that i'm filming and to DM me questions while we wait for questions, which I have a few questions, but while we wait for questions, let me tell you, I've been craving Subway for like two weeks or a week, but nobody ever wants to take me to get my cravings. And I am super excited, like my mouth, let me just take. Mm, 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 mm. It's so good. Hmm? Sabe rico con el bacon. This is so good, dude. Like, so I usually, I always get spicy Italian. And, um. Subway has never tasted so good in my whole life. I usually get spicy Italian, and I get all the greens, like I said. But this time, I added bacon on it because the worker gave me the idea of adding bacon. And it was so, it tasted so good with the bacon. Like, you can taste the bacon. So I'm sorry if you hear my mom in the background. She's watching TV. And I'm in the in the kitchen. Because filming in my room, it would not be good, you know, because I don't have a table. Dude, my baby is so happy right now. He's kicking. Anyways. This is so delicious, like I cannot, like, it's so delicious, like I can't say how delicious it is. I'll start answering questions in a bit. I was gonna say one more thing. Oh look guys, I got my ring. It's like this. It's so simple, but it's so cute. It actually fits now, I'm a five and a half, and he had got me a seven just cause there's no more rings. So, when I make faces, it's because I've been super sick. I was in the film yesterday, but I've been super sick where I couldn't even talk yesterday because my throat hurt so bad and it hurt all here. Like me touching it even hurt it. I couldn't swallow water. Like I was going to cry. I couldn't eat food. Like I was craving panda and I got my panda, but eating panda, like. It hurts so bad. Like, eating food hurts so bad. So I drink tea, and I drink honey Hello. with lemon. And I woke up kind of fine. My throat still hurts when I swallow food, so that's why I'm making weird faces. Okay. And I'm going to go see my man on Saturday and Sunday. So I'm super happy and super soaked. But yeah, I'm going to start answering questions now. So enjoy me eating and answering questions. It's so funny because uh, I start feeling really tired for no reason when I, that's all I do. Like, I literally sleep all the time. So I'm gonna go through my Instagram now and answer some of your guys' questions. So I'm gonna just randomly 
pig and see what I want to answer. Oh, it's Leah asked me, when did you start doing your makeup? Um, I started doing my makeup around like 15 years old. I remember always doing my makeup hiding because my dad hated like makeup. I would usually just put like red lipstick or like pink lipstick and some mascara. But I remember coming home and just running to the bathroom and washing my face as soon as I walked in because my dad was going to get mad. One thing, um, I can't look at myself like if I have food on my lips or food on my teeth. I'm sorry, this is a mukbang, so I don't eat pretty, I look trashy when I eat. <laughs> baby Na or baby Anna asked me, How tall are you? and I would say guess my height, but you guys can't guess it through here because obviously it's a YouTube video. But I am 4'11", and it's funny because my man's like, he's either 6 foot or he's like 5'11". He's almost 6 foot. He's around there. He's super <coughs> tall. The yeah, the dogs don't shut up. Um, PYT dot Mina asked me, where do you live? I mean, what state do you live in and how old are you? <coughs> Molly, I live in California and I am 20 years old. I was about to say 21 years old, but that's not till January. And my baby will be here in January. So, I've been craving lots of jalapenos, but I've also gotten lots of heartburn. So, like right now, my baby just kicked. He kicks when I eat. Oh, PYT Mina also said enough love from Toronto. Hey, girl, I love you. Love from California. I think it's really amazing how there's people that follow me from, like, different places. Like, it's crazy. Ash, trash your ex-bear asked me, what do you think you'll have? Um, I already have my gender reveal, and it is a boy, and I knew I had. I thought I was going to have a boy, and I did have a boy. So it's funny, because I just knew it. Just saying, yeah, Mary asked me, how long does it take you to be... How long did it take you to be really good at your makeup? Honestly, I still think I'm not good. I think I'm, like, kind of good, but not good. You, know, I have the hiccup. You know what I mean? But it took me... I mean, I've been doing my makeup, like, actually doing, like, eyeshadow since I was 16, and I'm 20. So, it took me quite a while. Practice makes perfect, girl. Mm -hmm. Malia 2002. She asked me. Who inspired you to start your channel and where did you see yourself in five years? Or where do you see yourself in five years? And I love you. So I love you too. And who inspired me to start my channel? I used to watch a lot of um, Daisy Marquez videos. And she honestly inspired me. At first when I started my channel, I wanted to do makeup videos. But that didn't turn out good for me. And in five years, if I keep achieving my make my YouTube career, I see me actually being, you know, successful with YouTube. But other than that, I see myself with my family, married, happily, you know, working. I don't know. <laughs> Stacy asked, when you found out you were pregnant, what was your reaction? How did you feel? I'm happy for you. You're... A Beautiful, awesome person, and I love your style. Thank you so much for your compliments, and thank you, girl. It's really hard to find something that fits me right now because I'm pregnant. But when I found out I was pregnant with my first baby before my miscarriage, I had no emotion at all. I was, like, scared. When I found out I was pregnant with my second baby, I was kind of, like, happy and kind of like, oh, shit. I had more of a reaction, and I cried. I cried. Because I just had a miscarriage. And I was like, what? Uh, how did you and your man meet? 
the same person asked this question and the way we met was through friends we would have the hiccups we would always hang out with each other and i never thought much about him which was really funny and then now i'm like head over heels like that's my baby Melly x one asked what was your mom dad reaction when they found out you were pregnant they were honestly really happy with both you know with the second baby um they were more worried because i just had a miscarriage so they just wanted me to take care of myself because i heard it is risky to get pregnant for the baby you know so they just made sure, like t kept telling me like make sure you take all your vitamins which i have Dax Daxi Dazi as have you picked a name for your baby yet? By the way, I love you. When I have picked out names for my baby boy, which I'm not gonna say just yet because I wanted to be a surprise and I want to welcome him with that name. You know, like I wanted to like be like I don't know. Life when the yelly asks, what do you want to accomplish with life? I want to be successful. I want to be able to de not depend on anyone. Like, I want to be successful, you know, like, yes, I have my man, but, like, and, like, whatever's his is mine and whatever mine is his, but, like, I want to be able to say, like, oh, I achieved this. Like, I have so many dreams. I want to be a, I want to work with animals. I've always loved to work with animals, and I also want to achieve my YouTube career, not just my YouTube career, but also work with animals because YouTube is something I love doing too. It's more like a hobby. It's not a job for me. And I just want to be successful with my baby boy and be able to give him everything, you know, that I had when I was a kid and give him even more, you know, what I could. Like, I just want him to have everything he needs. Maricruz8 asks, what's your favorite thing about your boyfriend? And by the way, you're really beautiful. My favorite thing about my boyfriend, he is so cute. I love his eyes and I love his little piggy nose. I love, I love his curly hair. He has no hair right now. He's letting it grow out, but he has the most beautiful hair. And I love his dimples and I just love him. Like his hands, like he has manly hands. Like I just love him and his lips. Like he's perfect. Like um and then Justenia Mary asks how do you feel to be pregnant with a boy and how did you feel by the way I love you I don't know what she meant by how did you feel but how do I feel to be pregnant with a boy I it's just so cute to think like we create boys and girls like our body like we're I'm carrying a boy right now like this boy is going to grow up He's gonna find love. He's gonna make his own kids. Like, it's crazy. Like, I literally made a little boy that's gonna grow up, find love, and make his own kids. And, like, it just blows my mind. Like, like we create boys, and then it's so weird. Like, we create humans in general. And I, I think it's such a beautiful feeling. It always gets me emotional talking about this topic. I just think it's really beautiful how our bodies are capable of carrying babies and pushing a baby out. Like, from our bodies like that's crazy and feeling their little kicks like it's such an amazing feeling so Lizzie Diaz asked me how does it feel to be a future mommy to be by the way I love you so much I love you too like I really love you guys all and um the thought of holding my baby boy now like I want to cry and I just hold him better but like, I get so emotional, like, to think, like, the moment I carry my little boy, the moment they put, you know how when you push your baby out, have you seen videos where you give birth, and um, when you push the baby out, they, like, put him on your chest, and I just can't wait, like, to have him, like, I'm scared that I'm not gonna know what the fuck to do, like, he's gonna be crying, and I'm not gonna know, like, how to stop him from crying, like, I'm gonna be a mess, but... Oh, my eyes are so watery right now. Like, this topic gets me so emotional because I just can't wait. Like, the feeling of being a mom, like, it's crazy because now I understand the love of a mom for their child. I would always think, like, how can someone love a human so much? Like, how is that even possible? But I would literally, like, this baby boy is not even born yet, and I would do anything. I'm going to cry, but I would do anything just to see him happy and, you know, like, uh why am i so emotional but yeah this topic has been so like emotional because like i can't believe i'll be a mommy like i can't wait to hold him 
oh my emotional ass like sharon wipe those tears away <laughs> and yeah i always spend my times my days like i always spend my days sleeping taking naps eating <laughs> waiting right now i've been waiting for the weekends because that's when i see my man and then I literally spent all my days recording my belly because my baby kicks a lot. Like, he's kicking right now, I think, because I'm eating food and he's happy. But, dude, I am, like, so excited. I always cry. Like, I always watch baby videos and I always find myself laying in bed crying. Like, I just want my baby boy in my arms now. Like, that's crazy. I feel like when they put him in my chest, I'm going to just be so lost. And he's going to be crying, and I'm going to just look at him like, do you know me? Like, I'm your mommy. Like, I don't know. That's so crazy. Like, I can't even picture that beautiful moment, like, when I actually hold my baby boy. Like, I'm getting emotional again. But I can't wait for that moment. Like, I can't wait to experience giving birth. It must be such a beautiful feeling. I can't, like... I think it's so beautiful when you're in love with a person and you guys both create a little human. Like, I cannot... How do you say it? I cannot, like... Uh, I don't know how to say the word, but, like... I can't say it enough, but I... Oh, I'm, like, I'm always saying this. I don't know if it's just me, but I just feel like it's so beautiful. Like, it's such a beautiful feel. Like, I'm always talking to my man, like... It's just so beautiful how we both created a little baby boy. And, like, the baby boy has something from your partner and something from me. Like, we literally created one. Like, from both of us, he's going to have something. Like, I think that's so beautiful. And then the ultrasound pictures that I have, like, you can see his lips, his profile. He has his daddy's lips. And I just think that's so beautiful. Like, oh, that baby boy is going to be so cute. I hope everyone gets to be experience like being in love and having the family with that one person. And I hope like it stays like this forever because that scares me. Like I've never been in love and I never thought I would have my own little family. Now that it's all happening, I just want it like forever. Like it's so it's such a beautiful feeling. But yeah, I'm getting emotional. So, I'm going to end this video now. I didn't finish my subway because I was talking a lot. But I will finish it after this video. Because this video is really super, super, super long. So, let's end this video. Thank you guys for watching this video. This mukbang slash q and A. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed my subway. Um, give this video a big thumbs up tongue twister but give this video a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and to all my supporters that have been subscribed to me i love you guys so much and thank you guys for being in this pregnancy journey with me because it's so crazy and new to me and you guys get to experience all of this feelings and emotions with me and yeah thank you guys for watching my next video will be up shortly which will be a little pregnancy clothing haul for all you mamas that have struggles finding outfits just like me because I always struggle. But yeah, thank you. Bye.